Hi, I'm going to take you through the manual platform today, the pairing platform as we see it in front of me. The URL to it is given up in the upper left hand corner, CGI KCONS EU Mentor. The login address for you is mentor at unltd.org.uk and you'll be given the password. Here it's already stored in the system, but ordinarily of course you got to type it in yourself. Login. This is the first thing you see. On the top, in the usual way, we have navigation at the bottom. We have the actual data itself. There are five panels. Actually, there are four panels. Home, users, mail content, mail server, and logout. When you finish using the system, obviously, you're always going to want to log out. Make it a habit of doing so. If you come back and you're not logged out, you'll just go right to the page. So you probably don't want to do that. Let's log back in. Alright, as mentioned, we have home, users, mail, contents, mail server, and logout. So the first thing you're going to do when you arrive at the site is set the mail server. Now, I've already done this right now for myself, so I can take you through something and show you something. But you'll need to fill it in. Ask your IT person to come over and help you out. They'll be able to actually give you the information to use here. So call them over for doing this part. And if you need help, just ask me and I can talk to them myself if it's needed. So usually what you want to do is actually see what the mails are that you're sending. Although I report them here in the mail contents, they're in source form. So they might not be that interesting to you. You can't change them, you can just look at them. More fun is if we actually try to send the emails to ourselves. So back in the home panel, we can send individual mails to ourselves. So this would be the first one down to the tenth one. So for example, if I select a sixth one, and I just mail contents, all right, it is now emailed it to this guy right here. We all know who he is. So I should be getting that in a minute or two. And as I can see on a different machine, I in fact have. So look at the mail, test it out. The next thing you can do, and obviously the thing you'll be doing mostly when you come here, is adding users. Now, you generally add users either one by one or en masse. I'm going to guess that maybe it's going to be a mixture, then initially you'll add them en masse, and then after that you'll add them one by one. In terms of adding them all at once, you can export from a spreadsheet into a CSV file. And the CSV file, which is again just a you know comma separated values file, uh, the lines should be like this. But if you have the time and you want, you can just add things in manually. So let's say I've logged it at any point in time, and I want to add a pair that consists of my friends Professor Snape and Harry Potter, who are fictional characters, by the way. Professor Snape is going to be the mentor, snape at scary.com, and then we have Harry Potter, harry at stopwhining.com. Now, in order to add them, all of course we have to do is enter them here and then add a pair. Let's jump back here first. So, one thing to note before you add a pair is that you cannot remove them afterward. You can disable them, but even if you disable them, you can't re-add individual users later on. So once a mentor and a mentee have been connected, they can't be reconnected unless through different email addresses, of course. So we'll come back to the home thing always, and as you can see, here we see that Professor Snape and Harry Potter are linked. Professor Snape is the mentor, and Professor, I'm sorry, Harry Potter is the mentee. And we also see when they were added, just a few seconds ago. Now, this little green thing indicates that they're active, pair active. And then also we can have a little button right here to remove the pair if we want. It won't go anywhere. So you can consider this not removing the pair, but really just temporarily disabling them, or perpetually disable them, if that's how you want to see it. That's really as easy as that. Let's add another one right here. We'll add myself as a mentor using another email address and we'll add myself also from a different email address. Okay, so now as you can see I've also been added here and just a few seconds ago versus Snape and Potter who were a minute ago. Now let's say I want to disable a user. For example, they email me and they say, listen, I don't want to receive your spam. This can happen. So at that point all you have to do is click this. You really want to remove them? Yes. 
Now, as you can see, they have been blacked out right here, or grayed out, or opacitated out, or alpha out. And you can see a little red thing right here, pair not active. So in case we decide that we want to ignore them, or we accidentally click the wrong button, we can actually revive them by clicking on the little life buoy. So one thing we can do, which is useful, is to download and analyze what our pairs are. If we have 100 people, we want to see, you know, we want to do some processing or put it into a file or whatever. So we can download a common separate values file, which we can import into Excel or yeah, your spreadsheet of choice. What it's going to consist of is one pair per row, email and name of the mentor, email name of the mentee, whether they've been disabled, which should be a zero or one, and when the pair was created as a Unix time. And Unix time is just seconds since January 1, 1970 at zero o'clock. This is just a way of doing things. Your uh, spreadsheet utility will have conversion things for this, I'm sure. So we choose to download this. I will open the file as something, text edit. So as we can see, we have two elements right here, myself and myself, our emails and names, and when we were connected, and whether we've been disabled or not. Obviously, we've not been disabled, so it's zero. There we go. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, then contact me or contact any of the researchers involved in building the platform. Thank you for your time and have a nice day. Remember to log out.